Previously on Foxes Afloat. 100 yards in front of us, the canal splits off. We can either go left towards Braunston or head north to the Ashby, head south towards Oxford, Reading, London, Kennet and Avon. I know how a roast potato feels now. <laughs> I'm roasting. All I need is a bit of goose fat on me. <laughs> goose fat. My glasses keep steaming up. <laughs> we turned right onto the Oxford, but we moored up straight away because of the restrictions. There's like no time for leisure cruising. Nope. Oh. <laughs> so the first bit of Armco we found, yeah. we were moored up and we've been here for how long? Uh, about 13 days, 12, yeah. 13 days. Just under two weeks. And we've got to move today because we need water and the trash mountain's building up in the bow again, so we've got to get rid of the trash. We're all right for food. Sean managed to find a taxi driver to take him to Tesco the yeah. other day. So we're all right for food, but we are literally out of water, literally out of it. We turn the tap on yeah. and it just goes. <coughs> no man, we're better. <laughs> it just goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I've run out of pants, so we need to do some washing. <laughs> He's worn his pants that much that we can't wash the beyond washing. We have to bring them out onto the towpath with a stick and crack them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're off to find water, but we've got a bit of a, what's that word? Not condiment. Condiment. <laughs> predicament. That's the one, predicament. The nearest water point is back at Napton, yeah. at Calcut uh, Boats, at just under a mile. But it means us going forward to find a winding hole, to turn round, to go back, but then there's no wind in all where the water point is, so we've got to reverse all the way back down towards Napton. It's just a faff. Too much. Uh, so we're going to go forward towards Marston Dolls. It's, uh, it's about the same. It's actually not that far. It's about a mile and a bit. But it means we don't have to turn the boat round, and it means we can just hang around at the water point because we need to do some washing. Sean's pants. <sighs> Which might need a bit of a hot wash. Two washers. You're steaming up there. You I know, right? yeah. It's every time I face the sun, my glasses steam up. You look like you got national health glasses. <laughs> a lazy eye, you're covering a lazy eye. You'll notice I've got a hat on, even though I'm roasting like a potato. Uh, <laughs> we, we've had to do our own haircuts because of the restrictions and all the barbers being closed. I made a fine job of his. <laughs> We did number one instead of two, didn't we? <laughs> when I looked in the mirror, I did a number two. <laughs> oh. So, hello cap for the next two months. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Uh, we're actually moored right next to Napton on the hill. It's a tiny little village. The hill's about 400 foot high. And it's like, just got like the villages, the, the shops and houses and everything just around the top of the hill. Uh, there's a church and there's a windmill and there's a little shop and the canal goes around the side of the hill, Lazy Brindley. I know, could, could have gone through it. it. You're really steaming <laughs> up, are you? You're thinking about somebody you like now, aren't oh, you? Oh my, let me take him off. <laughs> uh, so we're off to get water. Uh, we've also got to tackle some of the Napton locks today. Yeah. It is very quiet and very warm. I hope it stays that way. Are you ready? And I'm doing the locks today. Yeah! Come on! <laughs> Between bridges 111 and 112, what? You always look like, oh God, what's he gonna say now? He's dug up some more info. Actually, dug up is 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 quite a good word. Is it? Yeah, between bridges, watch where you're going. Oh! 111. Gonna bend. And 112. Uh, on our port side, on this side, there used to be a brickworks for about 100 years. And they used to dig clay out of Napton on the hill. It's actually like Napton on a bit of what's left of the hill. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, they used to bring all the clay from the hill down to this brickworks at the side of the canal and turn it into uh bricks bricks 
Uh, they stopped doing it in the 1970s, but you can still see the landings where the narrowboats used to take the bricks up to Napton Railway Station. And then they'd take them, I don't know, to huh? build stuff. Build sheds. Yeah, houses. sheds. Wooden sheds. Out coal houses. Yeah, coal houses out of wood. <laughs> Remember that picture of you and your Michelle? Oh, yes! It's a photo of him and his sister when they how old were you? Two oh, about, about two eye, yeah. About two eye. Uh, been playing in the coal house. We got a bit of a lean today. <laughs> James Brindley designed this canal, did you know that? That brings back memories of uh, Brindley's tunnel at Air Castle. Well, he did most of them, didn't he? Yeah, he did a lot. It, James Brindley, he wanted to connect like all the rivers, like the, the Trent and the Mersey and the Thames and everything, and that's why the canals were built in the way they were. But the Oxford Canal, this southern part between Napton Junction and Oxford, has hardly changed because a lot of them, they straightened out. Remember like at Birmingham, where Thomas Telford came and just went, Whoa! Yep straighten that out. I've noticed on the map this was like a piece of spaghetti. It is, it goes around all the hills and this section between Napton Junction and Oxford, it's not really changed since it was built and opened between like 1774 and 1790. So this is exactly how it would have been like 200 years ago. Uh, if you look up there on the top of the hill, you can see a windmill. Yay! I wonder if Windy Miller lives there. I hope so. Yeah. I bet he done. That's not the original one. The original one was built in, I don't know, 15 summer, but that brick built one was built in 1830 something. boat's rocking but we're on dry land this is weird this is how you feel when you're when you live on a boat for a while <laughs> yeah. and you get off the boat for the first months or year anyway it's like you get off the boat and you go to a pub and you stood at the toilet and you find yourself swaying on dry land when you stood at the toilet <laughs> uh, this is Napton Lock 9 just behind you there's a big field and the farm uh, that's there breeds water buffalo and they sell like buffalo burgers and sausages and they even use the buffalo milk to make buffalo ice cream, don't they? Yes. But it's shut because of the restrictions, we can't get there. Do you know what the scientific name is for water buffalo? It sounds like a combination between chewing gum and women's hair styling products. I've no idea. Bubbleus bubbleus. Really? Yeah. Bubbleus bubbleus, that's the scientific name. That's much wow. better than water buffalo, isn't it? Yeah. I want to be a buff bubble. Bu 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs>
that was engine house arm and they dug that out to get coal boats from the Oxford Canal up to a pump house that was at the end of the arm. Do you know what's at the end of my arm? A finger. How cool would it be to have eyes in the ends of your finger? Give up. Uh, so yeah, they built it to get coal boats from the Oxford Canal up to the pump house uh, to deliver coal and it used to pump water from the bottom of the Napton flight where we started this morning Yes Up here So that it could flow down again It's amazing Do you want a drink? Yes please I'll have to move this camera first This is lovely, this is like a tiny little model village just around a canal lock. It's tiny, it's called Marston Dolls, we're at lock 16, which actually brings us to the summit uh, of the Oxford Canal here at Marston Dolls. So from here it's all the way downhill into Oxford. But it's brilliant, when you look at it from the drone you can see that it's just this tiny little hamlet around the lock and that's what it was built for back when the canal was built, to stable horses. Daffy! You've been in canal? Mission accomplished. We have water, so we're all right for another two weeks. Look behind us, nothing. We're heading out into the most isolated part of the Oxford Canal. It's like 11 miles of just nothing. nothing. So we're gonna moor up the first bit of Armco we find. Yep, first safe place we can find to moor. That's it, that's us done again until we need something else and then we'll move if we have to again. Uh, Dylan went for a paddle, as you might have noticed. <laughs> Uh, so we've hosed him down, he's nice and clean, his lady are drying off. It cooled him down. It did cool him down. Right, where's some Armco? Where are we, honey? Middle of nowhere. Literally middle of nowhere. If you look on the map, like our, our map on our phone, and it goes, Meow, you are here. It hasn't got a name. It's just <laughs> middle of nowhere. It literally is the middle of nowhere. There is no towns for like six miles either side of us. Uh, there's like nobody about. Is there? It's wonderful. Not, not one person has passed us. The nearest boat is about, I don't know, a mile or two back from us. It's about half a mile, isn't it? Yeah. So we cannot be more isolated if we tried, unless we were in space. Ooh, can we go to space? Space. Uh, and it's going to be nice. So uh, working on that all over tan next week. Oh. <laughs> uh, but that is it for this vlog. Uh, we are back to isolating for another week. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a like for us and subscribe. Click the bell if you want YouTube to let you know when we release a new video. Uh, it would be great if you could help us by supporting the channel. Yes. Times are tough at the moment for us YouTubers, everybody out at work. Uh, so if you could support the channel, there's a join button on the homepage and on the video page, or you can support us on Patreon. And where's the link? Just here above my head. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Uh, any comments or questions, uh, as long as they're sensible ones, uh, you can leave them in the comments section. We try to answer every single one. If they're not sensible, I send his mum round. Don't want to see my mum. Right, I'm off for a shower. I absolutely yeah. reek watching you do all them locks has got me a sweat on. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>So one of the negatives of lockdown is that all the hairdressers and barbers are closed. Now I don't mind because you know I clip my hair regularly anyway. I, don't, I think Sean's got some kind of sadistic pleasure. <laughs> it's the sound of the clippers. Ah, so Sh not yet. <laughs> so, so Sean's going to cut my hair, which is easy because I'm just having grade two all over. And then I'm going to have a go at Sean. After we've done ours as well, we're going to show you, because we asked uh, a lot of viewers to send your befores and afters uh, from your self haircuts and your partner's haircuts. Uh, so we're going to show some of them after. You ready? I am. Right, off we go. What do you reckon? I think he looks absolutely ace. My turn. Sean's turn. Oh. Anything for the weekend, sir? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh! Dancing hairdresser. You trust me, don't you? No! <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. Actually. <laughs> what do you mean, actually? <laughs> Oopsie. Wouldn't it be easier just to take it off and rinse it? God, you're rough. I'm rough. It's like having your hair cut with a butcher. Well, that side's all right. <laughs> oh my God, that seems brutal. Shh. Oh, keep stabbing me. Sure. Oh. Smile for the viewer. Okay, close that eye. <laughs> <laughs> I closed both. Yeah. Forcing me head down. Least said about that, the better. <laughs> I reckon that's all right. What do you reckon? Oh, sorry, that's a see. bit close, isn't it? What? What? Keep. Yeah, well, <laughs> oh, that's all right, that. That's £10.20, please. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's ours done. Let's have a look at what your efforts look like. Oh, this is going to be fun. So we turned right. Is it that way? <laughs> cha cha bird. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. <coughs> it must have been a fit devil. My fit devil. You say that, don't you? When, uh, when you're watching your special videos, he's a fit devil. He is. Balam. Sheep. Sheeps and balams. <coughs> Sounds like Pat. If you look, if, if, if you look. Look, look, let's go look. It's like there's a private house attached to it now and if you go near it, it's like... Yeah, really? Yeah, so I just sent the drone like 20 yeah. foot above his house. <laughs> Didn't like that. I've forgotten what I was going to say then. <laughs> I can hear Chim Chimini Bird again. Chim Chimini, Chim Chimini, Chim Chim Chim. Shh, amazing. <laughs> Amaze balls. And cut. Bye -bye.